here's a list of what's going to be in this vlog. There's going to be crabs, beachcombing, successful breads, new art supplies, planting peppers, an art date with friends, sketchbooking, healthy food, uh, cutting stickers, and saving some animals that have been washed up on the beach. So two things that I'm really focused on in my life right now are just like species ID and learning about the marine environment around me and learning about the pelagic creatures that can be seen in Bermuda and also running this sticker business and art and creativity and illustration and they kind of go together because the stickers that I make are based on marine animals that I see or that interest me um, and you know part of it is I think it's important to have imagery around these crazy like animals that a lot of people might not even know about or ever get to see because they live on the high seas um, and through providing this imagery I think it like helps to affect conservation aims because people can maybe fall in love with these creatures in the way that I have so um, basically I wanted to have this channel to unite these two interests um, and I wrote this kind of like mission statement or like vision um, with the help of my friend Elena. She was really, really helpful in kind of getting this like energy for social media. We had like a long talk about it last night. Um, and I think having a mission statement will be just extremely important for me to kind of have a guiding principle for creating videos. Um, it will just help me have a good like structure and like self-confidence in doing it because I can come back to this mission. So it, it boils down to three things, which I think is that I want the channel to be a place to hold myself accountable for self-improvement and for like seeing these projects through because I think it gives a nice like structure and like motivation to, you know, work on these projects like every week or like bi-weekly. Um, Cause I enjoy making videos and I enjoy editing and like, like in kind of a paradoxical way, yeah, like <laughs> I enjoy getting these cool shots and the cool shots only come from like doing the work. So, and like posting it publicly also gives you some like accountability. So yeah, I just think it will be really rewarding to kind of use this as a place to like um, motivate myself to keep working on projects. Um, the second thing is I want to use the channel to document the process of like building this illustration business and like learning more about the marine environment around me because I think it would be interesting to look back on in the future um, and just like fun to do. And lastly, um, I want the channel to provide value to others by sharing like, you know, through the process of this documentation and sharing it publicly, like I hope that someone else might find it useful. So that's kind of like the guiding principle of what I want to do on this channel. I think to get started, I want to talk a bit about like, because I had made this video, yeah, um, pretty much like a month ago about my New Year's aspirations. And I was like full of energy and super fired up about like what I was going to do and like <laughs> having all these like creative and personal like self-improvement goals on my list. Um, and some of them, have really not been fulfilled and some of them are going okay so <laughs> let's talk about that i think the biggest one that i'm happy with is this agenda so i had talked in my other video about i want to use an agenda and like blah blah blah. and like look at this agenda look at this sexy agenda look at this sexy filled agenda because like <laughs> you know i think it's one thing like it's fun to like act organized. I, I think I do this sometimes. I act organized for like a day or a week and I'm like setting everything up and getting everything in line, but like actually using it is another step um, that sometimes I don't follow through on. So <laughs> I'm just very happy that like, you know, I was able to actually follow through and like write everything in this journal. Filling in this agenda has helped me do some projects that I otherwise wouldn't have done because I would have just been like, oh, I'm too busy. Like. I don't really have to do this. I'm just gonna leave it like for next year or forever and never do it. So um, like laying out all the tasks is helpful because it helps me see like, oh, you have this thing you've agreed to do on the weekend or you have this thing coming up next week. So like, you should do this now. <laughs> um, you know, like it cuts down on procrastination because it 
fills in all your time blocks, makes it really um, easy for you to see that you'll have time now, but you won't later. So if you really believe in this project, like do it now. Some of the other goals though, um, I didn't really follow through on. And like the main one would be the art journal. Um, I really loved the concept of an art journal because I found journaling very helpful. Um, it was just this great like reflective activity that would help me like process emotions and things. Um, but I wanted this art journal to replace that by not only being a place to record my feelings and like document what was going on, but also to be a creative practice where I could, you know, um, do sketches of what I've been doing in my life, collect incredible images um, that were inspiring to me, to put in quotes, um, to also, you know, do little writing blurbs, um, however I felt like it. Um, and yeah, in the end, I really only did one uh, sketchbook spread so far. Um, but I really did enjoy it. So I did this spread after doing a really nice beach comb um, in Somerset in Bermuda. It was incredibly low tide and I just like was so excited <laughs> to look at um, this spot because you could see all the algae exposed, you could see even some corals exposed. Um, and I knew there was going to be a lot of cool invertebrates. And I found a bunch of porcelain crabs, which are these little, like, they're not true crabs. They kind of look like squat lobsters. They have weird shaped claws, but I think they're, like, very, very beautiful, especially the shape of their claws. Um, I also stuck in some sketches I did in another sketchbook of just regular mud crabs. And, like, they have very striking claws, which is interesting. And, like, I had um, really nice orange-colored cephalothorax from a mud crab, so... I wanted to sketch that out. goals was just like in general try and be healthier try and do some exercise try and um, eat better and I was just feeling really um I was very uh, chuffed with myself and vibing with myself because I just went to the grocery store the bill was like not as expensive as usual because I mostly got like produce um, instead of like packaged stuff and like I was really excited to make some new recipes like I sourced a bunch of, a bunch of vegetarian recipes um, and I had a lot of fun like 
making them and feeling healthier um i felt like i really succeeded at that a bit and like yeah full disclosure i'm kind of a picky eater so <laughs> it was nice to discover some new recipes that i enjoyed like, yeah in particular i discovered this like chickpea salad that i loved um because like i eat a lot of pasta and like i'm trying to get better at eating like actual green things <laughs> so yeah i discovered like it's basically just mashing chickpeas with some spices and mayo and like putting that as a topping instead of meat um was really satisfying and so good I also got some seeds for Christmas, um, and I just like the idea of using gardening to promote mindfulness, you know, because it's something uh, where gratification is delayed and um, it's just soft and slow and nice. Um, so, yeah, I started off some seeds in little egg cups. Um, these are bell peppers, or they will be, and um, I just took them out of the seed cups and planted them properly um, in this old like salad container that I had. So. Another thing that goes along with that mindfulness is learning how to bake sourdough. <laughs> I've like really gotten into this lately, like since like before Christmas. Um, my friend gave me part of his starter and like help with like an easy recipe and I've just loved it so much. Like it feels so wholesome and satisfying. <laughs> um, to produce like this really tasty like wholesome bread um, and it takes quite a while so it feels like a really big accomplishment when you're finally done and you've like done every part well enough um, to work so yeah I'm really happy with those little domestic things <laughs>
Yeah, so I got a lot done um, these past few weeks. I'm feeling really good about where the store is, um, and I'm actually considering getting my own website because right now I just sell on Etsy. Um, yeah, I have a lot of other like store updates in mind as well, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about beachcombing for the last bit of the video because um, it's been super windy in Bermuda like a while ago, um, and this means that there's a lot more like interesting stuff washed up like even just like um local and native creatures that live in the reefs and like intertidal and stuff not even pelagics um and the other day i found this sea hare that had been washed up um it was pretty conspicuous because it was still moving around on the beach um i think it got washed in because maybe it was feeding on algae on this like piece of discarded rope and then the rope got washed in because of the high winds and the sea hare was just caught on it. So it was on the sand um, and like they, I'm, I'm not totally sure on this but I'm pretty sure that they can store some water in their mantle because like they're an intertidal creature. Like I've seen them pretty happily like just foraging, eating algae off rocks and like the tide will, um, lower a little bit they'll be exposed and then the waves will come in again and they'll be underwater and like they're fine so i think this probably gave this sea hare you know a better chance of surviving so i put it in a little bucket um and i was going to take it to the other side of tobacco bay to release it but then i saw this um zebra nudibranch on the shore i'm pretty sure endemic to bermuda but maybe they're only native but it's a pretty big sea slug and they're like beautiful bright like gold and purple um and this one i really wasn't sure if it was alive like it had some sand on it um but then when i put it in water as well it started to move like a little bit like it didn't look like perfect but at least it was moving a little bit so i was like really fascinated by that because i haven't seen them very often like underwater um it was the first time i found one washed up and then I took both of them to the other side of Tobacco Bay and the sea hare was really happy. I just like, <laughs> I kind of put it in this like pool, um, but I had to hold it onto the rock so that it would stick to the rock and like <laughs> be okay instead of being swept away because the current was kind of strong um, and he looked very happy. I also found a ton of Valella that day and there's just so much that's washing up right now. So I'm super excited to find more stuff beachcombing and to do some more art and to keep posting on here. So thanks a lot for watching and listening. <laughs> Bye!